I think that there's a lot that we can learn from Beyonce's career and her journey. Every single new project she drops, Beyonce is setting a new standard. I think Beyonce really reminds us that growth happens when you continue to push your own boundaries. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, we're on our third video, so thank you so much for rocking with me. I think that there's a lot that we can learn from Beyonce's career and her journey as an artist that we can apply to our own creative journeys. So let's get started. I think one of the first things we can take from Beyonce is that it is okay to reinvent yourself. One of the most inspiring aspects of Beyonce's career is her fearlessness when it comes to reinventing herself. So from Destiny's Child to her solo career, we've seen her exploring new genres and just really challenging herself creatively. Every single new project she drops, Beyonce is setting a new standard for herself. As creatives, I think that we often find a lot of comfort in our established style, but I think Beyonce really reminds us that growth happens when you continue to push your own boundaries. When you're in a place where you're comfortable, you feel good most of the time. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that, you know, things are familiar and you feel safe. And as a creative myself, I definitely do recognize that there's a lot of discomfort that comes with trying new things and showing up in a new way because sometimes not only do we tend to like box ourselves in but people around us like in our immediate circles family members and also like boxes in in different ways but i think in order for you to really grow like as a person but to also see you know your work grow and expand and also see like what the possibilities can be it's important to test and push those boundaries so what better way to do it than to reinvent yourself because sometimes you might not even feel aligned with you know, previous versions of yourself i think it's also really important to acknowledge that you're not always going to resonate or align with previous versions of yourself we are meant to grow and expand throughout this journey and i think it's like really important for your work to reflect that. I think Beyonce has been such a great example of that. So embrace change, experiment with new ideas, and don't be afraid to reinvent yourself and to show up in a different way, in a way that, you know, aligns with who you are right now in this moment. Number two, I think in a world that often demands instant gratification, I think Beyonce sets a very powerful example by normalizing the idea of creating at your own pace. I really also want to acknowledge that Beyonce has worked really hard to not only sustain her career, but to build her name and her legacy. She's worked hard enough to the point where, you know, Beyonce could disappear for a decade if she wanted to. She has done the work to build that trust with her audience. She has done the beehive. Beyonce could come back drop an album and it will be like she never left because we know that the quality of her work is only going to get better. So throughout her career, she's taken breaks, she's stepped back and she's really allowed herself the, the time needed in order to craft meaningful art. And as creatives, I think that we can learn to appreciate the importance of balance and recognizing that creativity can flourish like when we allow ourselves the space to breathe, the space to recenter, the space to figure out who we are within that time. And even for me, like using myself like as an example, I became a mom in 2022. Becoming a mom really shifts your identity. It's not a gentle shift either. So instead of kind of like, you know, placing unrealistic standards or expectations for myself in terms of like, Oh, like you need to be pushing out content. You need to, you know, create this. I took a step back and really reflected on where I was, reflected on like a lot of my experiences to figure out how I wanted to show up and what I want my work and my art to communicate or showcase, you know, moving forward. I think a huge factor that is playing a role in like the pace that people are creating and like putting their work out is definitely the algorithm. I definitely think that the algorithm has played a huge role in how we create, how we consume, and how we put things out there. I'm definitely someone who takes a lot of time to create anything. My creative process is slow and steady. I'm very intentional about a lot of things. What do I want these colors to communicate? 
How do I want the music to, to sound? How do I want people to, you know, take from this? I'm living in a day and age where if you're not posting on Instagram every day, you're not posting three to five videos on TikTok every single day, the algorithm is not going to prioritize your work. I think as creatives, despite what the algorithm prioritizes, it's really important for us to create a cadence that makes most sense for us. I think it's still very important to normalize creating at your own pace. Let's dive into the third lesson. I think something else that we can learn from Beyonce is the importance of embracing vulnerability and authenticity in our work. Beyonce has consistently used her art to share personal stories and emotions. And this is also not me telling you that like you need to get on the internet and like tell people your deepest, darkest secrets. No, that is not what I'm telling you to do. I think it's like through these genuine expressions that we create very strong and meaningful connections with others. And that's also how you build community. And it goes back to like the ethos of what is art for? Art is here to heal. It is here to help us to connect. It is here to help us, you know, form and be in community. And there's just so many other things that art can do, depending on like where you are, like in your journey. But art can communicate that in different ways. Last but not least, I think the fourth thing that we can learn from Beyonce is that consistency does pay off. It's success is not just like a result of like her talent because there's so many talented artists out here, right? But it's also her unwavering dedication to her craft. At this point in her career, she has put out a few documentaries where she walks us through her creative process and what it took to bring that body of work to life. For example, we got to see behind the scenes of Renaissance, um, even though I think she could have given us a little bit more, but that's a story for another day. From the rigorous rehearsals to the meticulous attention the detail in her performances she really exemplifies sustained effort and consistency over time can really lead to success i think a lot of the pressures that comes from the algorithm and instant gratification and maybe seeing other people around you or people within your space taking off quickly it does create unrealistic standards in terms of how quick you should see your success everyone's journey and timeline looks different but the one thing that you do have control over is how consistent you are in terms of like showing up doing the work and allowing the rest to just you know happen for you in due time